let me uh, let me welcome all of you to uh, to Woodburn. And uh, a, a few of you were here last year, and it's wonderful to welcome you back. And to those of you who are here for the first time, it is also wonderful to have you. And so, what we're going to do is, um, I'm going to start by asking Senator Carper uh, to say a few words because he and Mrs. Carper. Um, and I very much appreciate both of them being here, as well as Senator Coons. Um, thank you, uh, Martha. Uh, the Senator and Mrs. Carper have to, ha have to head home. He's got a very, very early morning tomorrow. So I'm going to ask him to say a few words. And then we're going to go around the room. And I'm going to ask everybody to introduce themselves. Tell me uh, if you could just tell which mosque you are with, uh, where you live, and uh, your country of origin. And... Um, and uh, we don't want to take too long because there are, there are a lot of us. But I think one of the great things about last year, not, I know that not all of you know each other. And I think uh, to the extent that we can help with the community building within the Muslim community here at Woodburn, uh, that would be a great, uh, a great benefit. So it's great to have you. And then, so, and then uh, I'm going to ask, I'm gonna, you'll all introduce yourselves. I'll ask Senator Coons to say a few words. Uh, and then at the very end, uh, I just would like to make some concluding remarks. Uh, Naveed is filming this, and he has asked that this be passed around to whoever is speaking. So I'm going to, it's like you only allowed to talk if, you, if you're holding the, the, the stick. <laughs> so um, we, I'll start with Senator Carper, and then we'll go around the room, and, uh, and, and then we'll take it from there. But it's, it's wonderful to have you, but I'll have some other remarks a little bit later. <clears throat> Thank you, Governor. A nice round of applause for our host, Governor Jack Markell, please. And a nice uh, to, uh, to everyone else who was kind enough to invite Martha and me to join you, uh, uh, join us, uh, join you. Chris Tuckoons, who without whom he let me ride over here with him from from Washington. So if we had if not for him, I'd still be on the other side of the bridge. So thank you, Chris. My wife Martha is sitting uh, right here at the table with all these other ladies, and uh, Martha's uh, portrait is right up here on the wall, and uh, she uh, the. Uh, she hasn't changed much. We were fortunate enough to, uh, to, to be a governor and first lady from 93 to 2001. I like to say Jack McKell is one of the two best governors <laughs> <laughs> the state of Delaware has ever had, and the other one would be Pete DuPont. <laughs> but uh, it's a joy to be back here. Thank you for, uh, for your hospitality. Martha and I grew up in the South. Martha in uh, North Carolina. I was born in West Virginia, grew up in Virginia. And uh, we uh, grew up in homes uh, where our parents had uh, deep faith. Martha grew up in a Presbyterian home. Uh, I grew up in a, a, a Baptist uh, home. And my, uh, my mom was especially a religious uh, woman. And she, uh, she wanted me to grow up and be a, a preacher. And uh, I wanted to grow up. We had a Southern Baptist church right across the street from our house. And uh, she took my sister and me there every Sunday morning, Sunday night, Wednesday night, Thursday night, because she wanted us to know the difference between right and wrong and uh, do right. And she wanted us to understand the golden rule, treat other people the way we want to be treated. And uh, I, uh, I wanted to grow up and be a baseball player. And right behind the church was a baseball field. And we would go there from March early in the year to play baseball. And uh, my mom wanted to grow up and be a preacher. I wanted to grow up and be third baseman for the Detroit Tigers. And uh, I never got the call from God to be a preacher. And unfortunately, I never got a call from the, ti the Detroit Tigers either. <laughs> and so I ended up following a different calling. And Martha and I met 30 years ago. So we've been married 30 years. We have two boys. They're just little guys when, when we lived here. But uh, we're talking uh, over, uh, over dinner uh, about, about our, our faith and really our shared values. Our shared values. The golden rule, treat other people the way you want to be treated. Very, very similar value in, in, uh, in, in, in your faith, the Muslim faith. And frankly, as it turns out, in a Jewish faith, I don't care whether you're Protestant or Catholic, I don't care if you're Buddhist or Hindu, everybody has that tenet. It's their basic belief to treat other people the way we want to be treated. And uh, the, uh, the idea, and, and Chris here, Chris is, uh, this guy uh, makes it an ordained minister. I mean, he really knows the scripture. But uh, in, uh, in the New Testament, there's uh, Matthew 25, the words we talked about at our dinner table. The, you'll hear the, you read these words in the New Testament in the Bible. Um, when I was hungry, did you feed me? When I was thirsty, did you give me to drink? When I was naked, did you clothe me? When I was a stranger in your land, did you take me in? And th that's not just in the Matthew 25. That's, as it turns out, I learned, Martha, that that's a basic tenet within the, the Muslim faith, almost word for word for word in, in the Quran. And uh, one of the things that 
Chris and I and the governor have a, a chance to do is to convey and provide the kind of leadership as a counter message to, to Donald Trump and the people who were like really push hate and you know, you, know, you know try to create differences and build walls and so forth. Our job is to create bridges and to unify our country. And where we work, where Chris and I work in the United States Senate, you'll read these words right over the presiding officer where the presiding officer says, it says from many, one. That's e plus unum. From many, one. And uh, that's what we believe. And I think that's what most of the people in this country believe. And we have uh, the opportunity to lead, provide leadership by example, not do as I say, but do as I do, and also do as, I, as, we, as we say. So I just want to say to, to all of you, thank you for helping to make, for, thank you for helping to make America great. All right, thank you. Thank you for helping. And especially thank you for helping to make uh, Delaware great. And I think the best way to counter these messages is when you hear uh, when, when bad things happen and they're espoused by, by folks in, in other countries that, that have nothing to do, or in this country, nothing to do with the, the faith of, of, of Islam. Nothing. And just to be very clear and say, denouncing that. And a lot of Muslim leaders, we had one as a witness before our committee that just yesterday. And he was there uh, as, as someone whose literal life was under threat because of being outspoken and rebuking those that are within his faith and the faith, I think, of most people here. And we have to be very strong rebuking those maybe of our own faith. We say that they're a Christian, but yet they say these kinds of things. I'll close with this. In, in our faith, uh, we, uh, we're encouraged to ask for forgiveness often. And uh, none of us are perfect. We all sin. And uh, we, uh, in, in our faith, and I'm sure your faith as well, when we sin, we ask for forgiveness. There's one guy running for president, and uh, he's, uh, he's, I think, likely to be the Republican nominee. He professes to be a Christian, but he says he's never asked God to forgive him for anything. Can you imagine that? Never ask God to forgive him for anything. I ask every day and night. And, uh, and so does our president. Our well, <laughs> in our faith, if you ask, you're, you'll be forgiven. But we have a president every night. He's on his knees asking for God's wisdom and asking for forgiveness. And um, I just want to say again, thank you for giving us a chance to serve you. It's an honor to be uh, to be uh, to work with Chris. It's an honor to work with, with John Carney in the Congress. And my hope is that John will someday be sitting right there in that seat, not right away, but maybe in, maybe sometime next uh, next year. He will be a wonderful a wonderful successor to to this governor. But again. We love you. We're privileged to, uh, to be a part of your extended family, and uh, thank you for letting us be part of yours. God bless you all. Thank you. Let me just say, uh, Senator, thanks. I thought those were great words, and we are so fortunate in Delaware to have Senator Carper and Senator Coons and Congressman Carney, who do an amazing, amazing job uh, for us. So thank you so much, and safe travels home. Uh, with that, can we do ladies first? Is that okay? All right. Uh, so I'll come over here, and then uh, we'll work our way around. So no long speeches, but just uh, um, you know, introduce yourselves, where you're from, and and the like. Oh wow! No pressure. <laughs> <laughs> My name is Hafiza Salam, um, resident of Wilmington, Delaware, and I attend Masjid Al Kalthar. Um, Graduate of Newark High, 97. Um, uh, that's all I wanted to say right now. And I've, it's been a pleasure to be invited here. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much. My name is Maryam, Maryam Avan. I'm, uh, even though um, I'm a practicing OBGYN in Elton, Maryland, I'm here representing Sunday School in IST, Islamic Society of Delaware, which has been serving the community for a long time, making our children great citizens in future. Thank you. I am originally from El originally from Pakistan. Pakistan. Yes, thank you. And what, and what city in Pakistan? I'm from Faisalabad, Pakistan. It's very close to Lahore, which you might be familiar with. Yes, thank you. Thank you very much for this opportunity for being here. Thank you. Uh, my name is Sobia Chaudhary. I am from Dover, from the Islamic Society of Central Delaware. I'm a Delaware native. I was born in Pakistan, but I've lived in Delaware since I was three. I often tell people I'm more of a Delaware native than they are, and they look at me very surprisingly. Um, just the only four years I was away was for dental school in uh, Maryland, and now I practice here in Dover as a dentist. Thank you. Thank you. Um, my name is Sakina Banani. Um, I am a teacher at the Islamic Academy of Delaware. I teach second grade. I am from the USA. My parents came, my great-grandparents 
great, great, came here in the 1700s from Germany, and they actually married Native American Indians. So I can say I was here first. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Hello, my name is Naima Abdul Raouf. I'm representing, um, actually, I attend two mosques Masjid Isa Ibn Maryam, which is also Tarbiya School, and Masjid Kalthor. So, um, not representing just one. Um, I'm originally from Philadelphia. Um, I live in North Wilmington, Delaware. Um, my name is Salma Al Sai. Um, I'm originally from Yemen. I'm, a doctor, I'm pursuing my doctoral degrees at the University of Delaware in Biological Science, and I'm the board president of Tarbiya School, which is one of the largest, which is the largest Islamic school in Delaware right now. We have about 200 students, and one of the biggest employment as well in the Muslim community. We have about 30 uh, staff members. Out of them, 28 are women, so we are also the center for employment and empowering women in the state of Delaware. Um, thank you. I'm uh, Amna Latif. I'm the founder and director of Tarbiya Islamic School of Delaware. Um, Maratu Naveed moved to Delaware in 2009, originally from Pakistan. We have five children, um, age range is nine to 15 months. Um, something that I wanted to share with, with all of you is that we have 85% of our students coming in from low income families. We provide them very rigorous curriculum, um, and um, we just had a graduation ceremony last Saturday, and 85% of our students perform between 88 and 99 percentile in, on the standardized test, uh, raising the Delaware, uh, the Delaware's you know, student performance nationally. So I'm very proud of that, and we contribute towards you know, Delaware. Well, I'm Martha Carper, and I am just delighted to be here. Uh, it's wonderful to be back at Woodburn. Thank you so much for the opportunity. And it's been uh, really a pleasure to get to know such talented women who have excelled in their careers, and they have, are raising their families. There are many, many, quite a number of them have quite a number of children. So, <laughs> uh, so it's really wonderful to get to, uh, to get to know you better and some of them are almost my neighbors right almost right next door to where we live in Wilmington I am from North Carolina so I imagine I'm one of the few southerners here in among this group but uh, uh, I came to hear about uh, to Delaware about 35 years ago and uh, met my husband and the rest is history so <laughs> No, 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 no. You're, you're next. Can't miss Newcastle. <laughs> Hello, my name is Deidre Dixon. I'm here with my father, Dwight L. Davis. Um, I am from, um, I was born in Wilmington, Delaware. Uh, I reside in um, Newcastle, Delaware. And um, um, it's a pleasure to be here. This is beautiful. My name is Hanan Ali. I'm 10 years old and I'm a reporter for Tarbia TV. And I've lived in Delaware for five years. And um, I, I moved from New York and I represent Tarbia. My city is Miriam. Uh, thank you very much. Uh, my name is Kate Rohr. I handle, I work for U.S. Senator Chris Coons uh, and uh, Governor Police. Uh, it's an honor to be with you all this evening, Anas. Thank you very much for the invitation. I handle Kenton, Sussex County for Senator Coons. Uh, I'm sort of unique to Delaware uh, <laughs> at the benefit of uh, Senator Coons. I work for uh, Representative Mike Castle, who many of you all might know as well. Uh, I worked for him for 14 years uh, and did uh, the, same, the same thing I'm doing now. I handle agriculture issues, I handle some environmental issues, as well as local municipalities as well. But again, thank you all for, it's, it's truly an honor to be here.
Hello, uh, my name is Shafiq Rahim. I am originally uh, from Afghanistan. I've uh, been in the U.S. since 1987 and Delaware since 2000. Currently live in Bear, Delaware. It's an honor and pleasure to be here. Thank you very much for inviting us. Um, basically, that's it. Anything else? <laughs> All right, good evening. My name is uh, Nidal Abu Asi. Uh, I am the principal of the Islamic Academy of Delaware, which is affiliated with the Islamic Society uh, of Delaware, the uh, community-based organization for the Muslim community in Delaware. I came to the United States uh, shortly after Christopher Columbus discovered America. <laughs> no, no, no. I came to the, <laughs> well, some um, 38 years ago. I was 17 when I came to the United States with $50 in my pocket. I uh, studied here and um, uh, five years ago, I will, I'm a New Yorker first, then five years ago I became a Delawarean. I lived most of my life in Brooklyn, New York, running the largest Islamic school in the metropolitan area of New York. I came to Delaware to run the Islamic Academy of Delaware based on the demand of the community. Uh, we're growing. Did I say that I was originally Palestinian? I'm originally uh, from the West Bank, uh, nationality, well, stateless to say the least, but uh, now I'm a U.S. citizen. I've been a U.S. citizen for the past 30 years now. <laughs> And uh, I'm proud to be here, and I'm honored to be uh, in your place, in your hospitality. Thank you. Uh, good evening. Peace be upon you. I'm uh, Muhammad Salam from <coughs> Masjid al Kalthor. Um, been here 47 years. Been a ma'am and only ma'am staff for over 14 years or more. Um, I have a special relationship with Senator Coons, Tom Carpenter, as well as the governor. And uh, it's all like um, the, the Abraham of faith tells us that we are servants to each other. This month of Ramadan is a month where we are abstaining so that we can be better servants and human beings to each other. But um, I worked for the city 30 years, so I picked up your trash, and I picked <laughs> up your trash. <laughs> and as the FBI say, you never know what's in the trash. <laughs> <laughs> so um, uh, you probably didn't recognize me uh, um, when I was out in the trash truck on Delaware Avenue, around the corner from your house, and on Ivory Road at your house. So, um, are you gonna start talking trash? <laughs> <laughs> I may no, but um, it's, it's it's really a blessing that how God brings us all together, our energies and our spirit for the things that. We really do. I, I believe that all of us are servants, and it's not by chance. We know nothing happens without permission of Almighty God, Allah. So I thank Allah for this opportunity um, for being here and also to reveal our, our connection, our real connection as human beings, how we really cross our path, but we never know what God has in store for us. So thank you. Thank you. And to the Senator, Mrs. Carp, we understand if you have to leave at any point, so... My name is Yusuf. I'm from uh, original from in Turkey. I've been in Delaware almost 10 years. I came over in uh, USA in 1998. Uh, I'm the first time is here, and I'm really glad to come over. And thank you for the opportunity for bringing in all the distant Muslim people in here. And um, I tried to help the for Glasgow mosque to to run in the mosque, and uh, I think it's that's it. <laughs> Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Blessing and peace of Allah be upon all of us. It was said that there is a, like two best governors and uh, Jack Mark, one of them. I think he is also unique by writing his name in the history of Delaware by starting these iftar traditions. It's 1,437th Ramadan of Muslims. But second, as as this event in, in our state. Uh, my name is Sergeant. 
if you talk about my origin, it's, it's really complicated. I'm a global citizen. This is how I define myself. Uh, I was born in Soviet Union, moved to Turkey for education, then moved to uh, China, and I was serving as, a, as an imam in Hong Kong for a long time before to come down here. And uh, now I'm resident of Maryland, but serving the community in Delaware, but I'm thinking to move to Delaware because of good, good government of the state. <laughs> <coughs> Thank you very much for everything you have done. Congratulations. For Thank you. Yeah. Dwight. Yeah. Thank you. Is this how you hope? Yeah. yeah. Assalamualaikum. <laughs> Alhamdulillah. <clears throat> First of all, I'd just like to say Ramadan Mubarak. Um, and, and, and I want to thank my friend, Governor Jack Markell. Uh, Governor Markell and I have been friends and we're always surprised folk when we say that in public, <laughs> but for a long time. Um, the, the, the son of a beloved educator that I never got a chance to meet, and I sure wish I had Dr. Markell at the University of Delaware. Um, <clears throat> and um, I read about him. Uh, I think his rabbi is Rabbi Yair Robinson. I look forward to meeting him as well. So there's a saying, uh, and my Hebrew is not good, but it's Yad He, Vad He. O He, O He that is who He is, and no one knows who He is but He. In Arabic, it's La Ilaha Illallah. There is no God but Allah. And that's what binds our two faiths together that we believe in the same principles of the unity of faith. My name is Brother Dwight L. Davis. Now, in my neighborhood, Dwight L. Davis is my government name. <laughs> but when you sign my name, it's Dwight L. And it comes from the eels and the bays. We trace our lineage as ascendants of the ancient kingdom of Morocco. And I was just sharing with our, one of our hosts that the longest standing treaty in the world is the Treaty of Peace and Friendship between Morocco and the United States of America. What, what country was that again? <laughs> that, <laughs> that, Mor Morocco. And, and, and that the treaty was signed in the month of Ramadan. And so it's, 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 I found it appropriate to mention that. So um, I'm a native Wilmertonian. Um, I'm a native, I guess, Delawarean as well. I graduated from Delaware State College, which is now Delaware State University. I'm the president of an agency called the Motivational Center Incorporated in Wilmington. As a matter of fact, the Motivational Center was responsible for me receiving my undergraduate education back in yesteryear. <laughs> I say that because my daughter is here. And, and uh, I, I think it's important for all of us to understand that what binds us together should never divide us, and that's nationality or ethnicity. And so this governor, being the, the first and only Jewish governor in the history of this country, it's apropos that he is the one that make that happen. So I take my hat off to you, Governor, you. and I wish you all the Thank best you. yes. in your future plans. You. Yes. Assalamu alaikum. Um, my name is Muhammad Ahmad. I'm a, a practicing uh, pain management physician in uh, Newark, Delaware, and Elkton area, and I'm representing. Uh, um, Tarbiya School and uh, Masjid uh, or Mosque of uh, Isa ibn Maryam, um, and I'm one of the board of trustee and uh, looking for the purchasing of the property that uh, uh, for the school and the Masjid and uh, also um, working on strategic guidance for the development of the community and uh, of the school uh, in general. Um, I'm originally from Egypt. Thank you. The name is Abdul Majid Razak, so if my voice, I lost my voice. Uh, I'm originally from Lebanon, and 
and uh, I live in the community here in Dover, and I moved here uh, like five years ago. I've been in America for 40 years. Thank you. Uh, my name is Zahir Kasmani. Um, I live right here in Dover. I'm a practicing pharmacist. I own my own independent pharmacy here in Dover, and I attend the Islamic Society of Central Delaware. Originally, my great-grandfather was from India. He migrated to Kenya. Subsequent generations were born in Kenya. I personally, I've been uh, born, brought up in Kenya, and then, of course, migrated to the U.S. Um, I'd like to, first of all, thank the citizens of this great country for letting all of us here set up a life here. I mean, this is home for everyone, right? Yes. The previous life was a previous life. That was, you know, where our families grew up. But this is where we are. This is home for us. And, you know, this is where all subsequent generations, my kids, maybe his grandkids, you know, all, everyone is going to be born and, you know, brought up here. So, you know, hats off. Thank you very much to the citizens of this great country. And it's, of course, an honor to be present during this auspicious dinner. Thank you very much for hosting us. Assalamu alaikum. My name is Azar Nakwi. Um, I live in Newcastle, Delaware, and I'm represent, uh, representing uh, Babul Ilam Mosque in Wilmington, and I'm from Lahore, Pakistan. That's it. Assalamu alaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. My name is uh, Mohammed Siddiqur Rahman. I came from uh, Bangladesh, United States, came to 2000. 16 years here. I'm citizen United States now. I'm work is uh, Bindiwani School District, uh, maintenance department, and I representative this Majid Baitulaman, North Wilmington. Thank you very much. Assalamu alaikum. I'm Muqtada Khan. Uh, in 10 days, 10 days right here, 10 days I'll be full professor at the University of Delaware. Thank you very much. And uh, I have lived the longest in Delaware. Even though I'm from India, I came here about uh, 20 years ago, but I've lived the longest in Delaware. So when my children are growing up here, so I think of myself as Delaware. I have a very special attraction to Thomas Jefferson. Mm. And, uh, and that's why I like Delaware more, because I don't know how many of you know, because it was Delaware that made Jefferson president of the United States. <laughs> when uh, the representative from Je Delaware changed his vote, that's when Jefferson. Not only that, but University of Delaware is the exact replica of University of Virginia. And University of Virginia was designed by Thomas Jefferson. So that's one of the reasons. I especially want to thank you for hosting this event. Uh, there are a lot of us who, especially from South Asia, who have heart issues. So we take that small pill, aspirin, every night it's a little tiny thing, but it keeps us going. And, and I think this iftar, even though it may be a little thing, but it injects a lot of goodwill into mm -hmm. the community. Mm -hmm. And especially for Muslims who are feeling harassed and abused. Literally, I don't think there's any community which is so publicly abused as we have been in the last few months in this country. So at least for Delawarean Muslims, when they get invited to the governor's mansion uh, for iftar, it is a, it's, it's a recognition of them but it's also recognition of their beliefs. Mm -hmm. And to see that everybody, uh, especially Senator Coons, Senator Copper also here, it, I, I cannot tell you how, how welcome it makes us feel. So I really want to thank you. Uh, I, I'm also looking forward to your announcement. Uh, and uh, we've been working very hard, and we're li looking forward that eventually it will become the law of the land. Thank you very much. Assalamu alaikum warahmatullah. I am Abu Sarwar. Mr. Tom Carr actually really know me very well because I live in long time North Wilmington. Sometime when I jogging, we cross by. <laughs> I used to work at a Brandywine school district. I uh, take care of his son, uh, Ben, uh, Claremont High School, uh, elementary school. But anyway, uh, thank you very much for governor to invite us. Uh, thank you so much, and I'm proud to be American. I'm pr I am Muslim, uh, American citizen. So I want to be. This is my home. I want to be everybody united and proud. And I live uh, North Wilmington around 20 years. I really like Delaware. Uh, make sure uh, we are 
leaving this country like a, our real home. Thank you so much. Assalamu alaikum. Uh, my name is Muhammad Mehdi. <coughs> I'm a practicing physician. I am the only one from Southern Delaware. So all the people are from Northern Delaware. I would like to thank you, uh, Governor and Brother Anas, for arranging this nice, <coughs> nice and delicious dinner, actually, of the dinner. And uh, I'm a practicing physician. I practice pain management mostly, but uh, originally by profession, I'm an anesthesiologist. Thank you again. Uh, good evening. Uh, my name is uh, Prince Ismail Mohammed Amino. I'm from Nigeria. I came to this country in 1972 to study textile engineering at the College of Textile and Science, which is now Philadelphia University. When I graduated, I couldn't find any job. All the textile industry went foreign. Anyhow, I went back to school. I studied management. I worked for University of Pennsylvania, Presbyterian Medical Center. That was the campus of uh, Palatine Avenue in Philadelphia. I like to thank every one of you, even, even to the cook, everybody that is responsible for what we had today, the governor. Thank you so much and for giving me the opportunity to speak extemporaneously to every single one of you. Thank you, sir. Hello and assalamu alaikum, everyone. <coughs> My name is Arj Rashid. I am a student at the University of Delaware. And um, I was born in Pennsylvania, raised in Norwalk, Delaware, and I'm just grateful to be here tonight. I'm a member of the Islamic Academy of Delaware and the Islamic Society of Delaware. Assalamu alaikum. My name is Hakan Demircan. Uh, I'm representing Delaware's Dianet Center. And I have the pizza store. And I'm originally from Turkey. Thanks for inviting us. Assalamu alaikum. Uh, I'm Ashur Awad. I am a businessman in Delaware, originally from Jordan. Thank you very much for inviting us again, uh, Governor. We appreciate it very much. Thank you for bringing the food. Oh, thank you, sir. <laughs> everybody, everybody thought I had actually been cooking all day. <laughs> well, one thing I have to say, I tell you, I was very impressed. When I pulled up here, the governor himself came down down to help me out, bring all the trays up, <laughs> which is, I greatly appreciate. It. It just happened in Jordan. Assalamu <laughs> 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 uh, alaikum. Uh, my name is Mamoun Mahmoud. Uh, I'm a pediatrician in Dover, Delaware. I represent uh, the Islamic uh, Society of Central Delaware uh, in Dover. Uh, I'm originally from Jordan. Assalamu alaikum. Good evening, everybody. Um, Governor, thank you so much, first of all, to being um, a host for us tonight. And uh, Senator Kuhn, thank you for being with us tonight. As uh, like as far as I remember, I saw you in two, three different iftar organizations. And um, thank you for being part of Ramadan with us. And um, I would like to thank every each of you representing other masjids, other uh, mosques. And uh, I am also representing two things here, which is uh, Delaware Dianet Mosque, uh, which is in Newcastle. Also, um, I am the, I believe, one of the first uh, associations that um, in Delaware as a like um, East Coast Turkish association. And um, I got my master's degree in Wilmington College. And I came here in 2004 to get my you know, education done and go back to my homeland, which is Turkey. And um, in 2008, as you all know, uh, we had a little bit of a crisis. So it was really hard for me to find a job. And, and then God helped. We have some friends who lead us and um, we start working. And um, actually, S Central Kuhn was uh, at the uh, grand opening, uh, Troy Granite. So uh, I actually met him first there. Um, so years after years, um, so I've been living in Delaware. I am feeling I am part of the um, Delaware. And um, what I would like to say, after completed my education in Turkey and finishing my last master's here, and in the 
like age of 35, 36 years old, what I've noticed is um, as far as your wealth, as, as far as your knowledge, as far as your religious, your, your, your perspective of life, when it grows when you share. And it, it is actually great that we have a tradition like this and it's coming from a governor and, um, and s supported by the Senator Kuhn and the Carper and they are actually uh, being part of this spiritual month which is Ramadan. It's, it's really great. It's really great to see such a, you know, such a progress and uh, I am really proud of to be here with you and um, I hope this event comes every year and actually I would like to invite you um, to our mosque because we are um, doing like every night whole Ramadan and um, it's actually a great chance if we can um, be your host one time that would be great not this year maybe but the following year that would be great actually and um, and while you're here I would like to invite all of you if you get a chance please come and see visit us and uh, be part of our community as well so and then when you come you can invite us too so we can visit your mosque <laughs> thanks for thanks again for um, giving us this opportunity and thank you for being a host and thank you for supporting us on the um, on this tonight thank you so much and NS thank you so much for being part of the organization my pleasure thank you this looks like you get it like a teaser or something. You're going <laughs> to shoot someone. Well, my name is Anas Benadi. I'm, uh, the, as I said earlier, the director of Delaware State Housing Authority. I have the pleasure of serving under uh, Governor Markell as member of his cabinet for the last seven and a half years. Uh, I, I want to thank uh, really all the eight contacts that I had. Last year we did this, and I believe we had four or five mosques. This year we expanded it to uh, uh, eight mosques represented here and I want to thank the contact who we harassed to get the names and the addresses and the emails and all that good stuff so thank you very much for your help uh, I, I know uh, when you go back we have people who will hear about this and uh, feel that they are left out uh, because they are not part of it so we will try to rotate uh, I guess we got to lobby the next governor to have this event first and then try <laughs> to rotate. Uh, so w when you talk to folks in the community, please uh, explain to them the importance of this event to look beyond the fact that you were there or you were not there or I was there. Oh, I know somebody who got me there. This is really, this, this, is, this is more than just us. This is about the community uh, uh, really establishing uh, a custom that started last year that go beyond just the person interest. Uh, and uh, really uh, uh, helps the community as a whole. So I want to thank you, Governor, for hosting this. I want to thank you, Senator Coons, uh, Senator Towson. Thank you for uh, uh, making it here. I hope you didn't get a speeding ticket. Uh, <laughs> good, good, good to see you. So uh, thank you. Thank you, Nas. Um, Senator Coons, let me, let, me, let me just say before uh, Senator Coons, speak so I'm gonna after Senator Coons I'll say a few words but I'll at that point uh, introduce Senator Townsend as well because he has something he'd like to share and Andrew maybe if you can get that over um, kitchen so Senator Coons uh, is an amazing guy he is <laughs> no he is and uh, we've known each other for a very long time since 1988 he's an extraordinary extraordinarily competent person he's a visionary he uh, has so much respect in Washington, and uh, I just I cannot even begin to describe how fortunate we are uh, that he serves all the people of Delaware. So we are so great, and, and, it, and it's fantastic that he's here tonight. We're very grateful that you made the trip from Washington. Um, uh, thank you, uh, Governor Markell. Thank you so much uh, for your gracious hospitality. Uh, to you and uh, to your wife, Carla, for all that you've done uh, as governor uh, to make this a stronger and a better and a more united state. Uh, Assalamu alaikum. Uh, Ramadan Mubarak. Uh, I um, am honored to have the opportunity to be with you this evening uh, and to join uh, Senator Carper and Senator Townsend and Governor Markell uh, to celebrate uh, an iftar dinner with you and to celebrate uh, the process of this remarkable spiritual month uh, of Ramadan. 
Uh, I have had the blessing of uh, visiting many of the countries uh, that were referenced as we went around uh, the room. I, too, am not uh, a native-born Delawarean. Uh, I was born in the distant state of Connecticut uh, and moved here when I was six. Many of you have lived here much longer than I, uh, but I have had uh, the opportunity uh, to travel uh, to Jordan, to Kenya, to Nigeria, uh, to Afghanistan, to Pakistan, uh, to the West Bank, uh, to many places throughout the world, a dozen other countries, uh, that are majority Muslim and have had the opportunity uh, to see how we interact with the world. Uh, it's funny, literally uh, yesterday uh, I was in the Senate Foreign Relations Room where there is a framed copy of the Treaty of Peace and Harmony between uh, the Kingdom of Morocco, a country I visited twice, and Anas Benadi, thank you so much for your leadership role here and your friendship. Uh, and we were uh, commenting on how uh, it had been uh, concluded uh, in the auspicious month of Ramadan. Um, there is a lot of important history uh, that many Americans seem to forget. Uh, that Thomas Jefferson, one of our greatest presidents, uh, owned a Quran uh, and consulted it regularly and found it a source uh, of, of spiritual wisdom. Um, that we have uh, members of the Muslim faith serving in the United States Congress today uh, who were sworn in on the Quran. Uh, and that the history uh, of Muslims in America goes back as long as there is an America of which we could speak. Um, I want to share with you a brief story of my introduction to the idea of Ramadan and an iftar dinner. Uh, it was 1984. Uh, I was a much younger, much thinner man. Um, and I had just spent uh, time in Kenya and was traveling, uh, stopping in Egypt, my first of four visits to Egypt, uh, and going on uh, to London to meet some friends. And my luggage did not stop. So I flew from Nairobi to Cairo and uh, arrived at the Cairo airport and waited and waited. No luggage, no luggage. Finally, Egypt Air said, no luggage. I took a bus. I went downtown. I stayed at a hotel. I think it was $4 a night. And I was completely unfamiliar with Ramadan. And I seemed very despondent as I was checking in. And the clerk behind the counter said, why, you know, why so unhappy? What is the problem? Cairo is a wonderful place to be. And I said, oh, I'm a traveler and I am troubled and I, I don't have a change of clothes and I, I have very little money and I'm here for a week. And he goes, perfect. <laughs> Come to my home and have dinner. My family will love to meet you. And I said, uh, that's great. <laughs> why is this so exciting to you? He said, you don't understand. This is Ramadan. And we are blessed if we have a chance to show hospitality to a visitor who is a stranger among us and who is in need. I said, really? <laughs> he said, oh, you must come. As soon as the sun goes down, I will come back and get you. I figured maybe I would be there half an hour, maybe a cup of tea, maybe a little snack. At that house, I was there two hours. I met dozens of people. I ate until I couldn't even breathe. And then one of his older brothers said, oh, no, no, you must come to our cousin's house. <laughs> and their brother's house. And their neighbor's house. And their nephew's house. I was up all night <laughs> having little teas and coffees and unbelievable food. And I have never had such an experience of unexpected hospitality and joyfulness. So to me, to this day, the concept of Ramadan, the concept of hospitality is forever uh, carved into my heart as an experience I had with the people of Cairo who were gracious, who were kind, and who were welcoming. Senator Carper made a reference to some difficulties in the campaign. I won't dwell on those same issues. I share his views. It is important that we in the United States, whether we were born here, whether we came here a long time ago, whether we have just arrived, to remember what makes this country special. Everyone is welcome. Of all faiths, of all origins, you can be American, whether you have been here a few months or years, or you've been here 10 generations. That's what makes us different. And that's what makes our Congress different. That's what makes our state different. Um, and it is my hope um, that we will continue to have this wonderful annual tradition. Uh, and I am so grateful to our governor uh, for all he has done to make this a remarkable, inclusive, and positive state in his time. Can we conclude by just wishing blessings upon our wonderful governor, Jack Markell? Thank you.
Thank you, Senator Coons. Uh, wonderful, uh, amazing story and uh, great mar remarks, and thank you. Uh, before I offer some concluding remarks, I want to introduce uh, State Senator Brian Townsend, uh, who has been all over the state in like the last few hours. Uh, but he was, he was very hopeful and very eager that he was going to be able to make it here uh, before the conclusion of this dinner. And uh, he has something that he would like to uh, say in a presentation that we would like to, uh, to make. Thank you very much, Governor Markell. I'm here on behalf of the General Assembly, uh, actually, both the Senate and the House, to, uh, to present Senate Concurrent Resolution Number 81, uh, which we have been preparing and working on for uh, several months in, in various ways, as, as many of you know, um, to, to follow up on the, a very important step taken at the Newcastle County level to acknowledge the importance of the Muslim community in Delaware and all the contributions that so many of its members make to our business community, to our medical community, to our technology sector to our entire state. Um, today, yesterday in the Senate and today in the House, we passed a resolution uh, identical to the one passed at the county level uh, to emphasize um, not only the importance of the Eid festivals, but also the importance of the Muslim community in Delaware. And we had wanted to do so in time for tonight's dinner. Um, it truly is an honor to serve with a governor as inclusive as Governor Markell. Um, we are prepared to have him sign it in a ceremonious way. He and his team are willing to, uh, to do it uh, in a full uh, signature type of way that if the legislature had been able to coordinate in time um, would, have been, uh, would have been the highest level that we could do. And I think it speaks volumes that he was willing to do that without hesitation. Uh, I think it speaks volumes. Thankfully, my colleagues and strong majority in the Senate voted to support the resolution because, as Senator Coons mentioned, uh, we have strength through diversity. We have strength through inclusivity. And Governor Markell uh, has been showing that for many years now uh, in, in advance of the headwinds that we see now at the, at the federal level and across our country. Uh, so, again, it's an honor to serve with him. I appreciate the opportunity to be here tonight. Um, Senator Sokola from the Newark area is the official sponsor of the resolution. I'm a co-prime -spon co sponsor. Representative Bombach from the Newark area is the House sponsor of it, and there are uh, three additional senators and three additional representatives who put their names on the resolution, and it passed both chambers with a strong majority. Uh, and I think that speaks uh, volumes to the kind of culture that Governor Markell has helped to foster in Dover uh, the past eight years at this very critical time in our democracy, in our state, in our country uh, on these issues. So I'm honored to be able to join uh, very briefly at the end tonight. I'm sure I missed delicious food, um, uh, but, but it sounds like Senator Coons takes care of that well. Um, <laughs> Uh, and very much appreciate the opportunity to be here on behalf of the General Assembly to thank you so much for your contributions to the state, uh, to the community that we all call home, uh, for your patience in so many ways uh, with, with us in elected office. Uh, and I look forward to working together to continue to promote uh, the inclusivity and the diversity that's been the hallmark of Governor Markell's administration uh, and that we all believe is so fundamentally important uh, to the country that we call home. Thank you all very much. So Senator Townsend actually has the, uh, the resolution, and uh, it's, um, I guess we'll, uh, he's, he's just going to get a photo of the resolution itself. I'm not sure how you work your magic on these. I'll tell you, why don't you... Uh, There's a pen in here. Yeah, oh, that's right. There's a pen in here. Okay. okay. So why don't I move away from my dirty Perhaps place? Perhaps I'll eat desk. <laughs> okay. Okay. Over there. My desk of something. Desk in a chair? Um, that's all right. Oh, okay. you're coming up? So this is what it looks like. If you've never seen a, uh, a bill before, this is a re resolution, a Senate concurrent resolution number 81. It is stamped uh, the seal of the House, the seal of the Senate, and in a moment, my And there it is, and I thank Senator Townsend here, here. for uh, um, Well, th thank you. Um, let, me, let me offer some concluding remarks, if I can. So, uh, first of all, this is an amazing, is this an amazing country? I, you know, I was not, uh, taking notes as we were going around. I tried to do it just toward the end. 
in terms of the, diverse, the, the diversity of background of where we all come from. And I think I wrote down at least 13 or 14 uh, different places. And it is truly extraordinary. And that's just, that is what America is all about. And I so much appreciated the comments that some of you made about, uh, you know, this is, this is our country together. Um, it's also an amazing country that uh, nobody really thinks it's out, out of the ordinary for a Jewish governor to be hosting an iftar dinner. And that is as it should be, because we should not be divided. I do want to thank Anas, uh, who has been an amazing uh, cabinet member, the director of the State Housing Authority, uh, literally since day one. He has done a fantastic job. And uh, he has also become a good friend uh, during that time. And as he said, his, his other job is to be the, the liaison, uh, uh, really, really meaning sort of to help, help to educate me about the outreach to the Muslim community. And I, a few of you were here last year, Dr. Khan and a few others were here last year at our, at our first Iftar dinner when I said I was so hopeful that this would be a tradition that would continue. And I am, abs I am just, I am thrilled that we are here again. And I, and I appreciate, I mean, it was actually, and Anas started to mention this a little bit, sort of a bit of a, uh, a balancing act because a lot of people wanted to come back that we actually have even more mosques represented, and I think you win a di diplomacy award in us uh, for, for, for figuring all of this out. But I think now that we have, um, uh, you know, done this two years in a row, I really do hope that this is ingrained in the fabric of who we are in Delaware, and that this is a tradition that will continue for years and decades to come. And it, 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 will, it is quite likely that years from now, people will not remember uh, who the first governor was to start the tradition, and that's fine. That doesn't matter. What people will know, hopefully, this is, that this is just what we do. This is who we are. Because we have committed to each other that we are not going to let divisions, uh, the, the, these, these things divide us. And as I think, you know, as I have learned about Ramadan uh, and the, and, and, uh, uh, and, and, the, and so much of the focus of, of your religion more broadly, the focus on charity, the focus on everything that the Senator Coons talked about. It, frankly, it makes me think of, uh, you know, some things in, in, in my own faith. And when, you know, at the, at the fast of Yom Kippur, and Isaiah says, this is the fast I want, to feed others, to bring the poor into my home. There is so much similarity uh, between us. And it is that similarity, and it is that that bonds us, that we must continue to drive, that we must continue to make sure we put forth to the rest of the community. And I do think, and I thought Senator Carper did an, a, really a, a great job tonight of speaking about the division of the campaign. And I was telling Dr. Khan just last week, Dr. Khan's son was in Dover. He was a member of Boys State, which is a, um, a, a great program that educates rising high school seniors each year so that they learn about government. And it brings together uh, young men. There's also Girl State, which is this week, from throughout the state. And they, they learn a lot about government and interacting with each other. They have a lot of speakers. And I had the opportunity to speak to Boy State. And I saw Dr. Khan's son uh, sitting there. He, he, asked a, he asked some questions. He's a very nice young man. We originally met over a, playing table tennis together. But um, you can tell, and it's unfortunate, that the kind of poison which is too often spread by national politicians unfortunately infects the minds of our young people. And so there were young men that day, just a week ago, who were asking me questions that you could tell that where those questions were coming from was what they have been hearing from adults who were running for national office and who were running on a platform of division, not of unity but of division, and we must stand up against that. And I think what more powerful symbol can there be for all of us to join together on a night like this, but remembering, and this is critical, that this is not, to the extent that we think 
the governor did a good thing because he hosted another iftar dinner and this work is done until next year when hopefully the next governor hosts another iftar dinner that would be a mistake because then what that does is it relegates this community and this effort to something akin to checking the box that's not what this is about what this is about is the work of every day of every day of us working on our differences and resolving them of us finding our commonalities and promoting them my understanding is that the uh, the Koran says something and it's embarrassing to be speaking in front of imams about what the Koran says <laughs> um, but but something so, something along the lines of you are instructed to, um, to, to fast as were your ancestors in order to find piety. And I hope that during this Ramadan season, you and your families have a time for meaningful reflection. And I hope we all find that time. And I hope we all can continue to build on the progress we make together to build a stronger community for all of us and so that the American dream means something to each and every one of us and all the rest of the people of Delaware. Wonderful to have you. Thank you so much for coming out. Safe travels home and uh, we, we look forward to meeting again. Thank you so much. <laughs>